Hello everyone! I'm Logan. I'm Gemma. And today we're going to be reading the, the 11th story from Secrets of the Forest. An epic journey. It's early autumn in southern Canada. The afternoon is sunny and warm, but the days are getting shorter. It's the side of a young butterfly leaves. It's almost time for this little insect to embark on an incredible journey. But first things first, it needs to stock up for the trip. The butterfly flutters its bright orange and black wings. It stops to sip nectar from the bright yellow blooms of a goldenrod plant. Yum! And then it flips to a cone flower to continue feeding. The monarch's odyssey begins a few days later. In the cool early morning, it flies just above the ground as the sun rises in the sky. The butterfly flies higher and higher. By mid-morning, the air is much warmer. The super lightweight butterfly gets carried upwards into a column of rising air called a thermal. It travels up and up and up. It soars over fields and winding rivers. A herd of white-tailed deer run in and out. I'm on the maple trees below. The car's driving on the motorway like a small as ants. The tiny monarch glides from one thermal to another. When the evening approaches, it comes back down to the ground. It lands on a tree in Point Pelee National Park. Thousands of other monarchs are already roosting there. Suddenly a loud crack breaks the silence of the forest. A nearby tree branch is broken from the light of all the butterflies. Thousands of patterned wings Flutter frantically in search for another place to spend the night. Strong winds blow through the park in the days that follow. The butterfly stays put, safe and snug on its branch. Finally, the skies clear and the sun shines brightly. The monarch wastes no time. It takes off its flight. It takes off on its flight over the shivering waters of Lake Erie. Hundreds of other monarchs lift off as well. They create a river of orange in the sky. From nearly two moths, the young butterfly wings its way southwest. When the widget flies over vast cornfields, the next it flies the, uh, the next it flies over sweet smelling apple orchards. But the trip is not always smooth or easy. While basking on a warm pavement one morning, the butterfly is almost hit by a car. Luckily, it takes flight at the last second! Gulp! That was close. A few days later, while flying over Missouri in the USA, terrible thunderstorms come out of nowhere. The butterfly is just getting ready to descend the roost from a bald cypress tree when enormous raindrops start to fall. 
the chapel pelt the monarch before it can hide under the cover of some thick leaves <laughs> it takes hours before its wings are dry enough to even attempt to fly again at last in early november the monarch finally arrives at its destination the journey which has spanned nearly 2500 miles 4000 kilometers has taken the butterfly to the mountains of central mexico here i can drink from clear streams in a humid forest it roosts on a fir tree well other migrating monarchs spend their nights in oak and pine trees even though the young butterfly spends each day flying alone this mexican forest is anything but solitary millions of monarchs perhaps even a billion are here to spend the winter. The trees, coated in a layer of orange, look as if they've been painted by a magical artist. After its long journey, the butterfly looks for a mate. This tiny traveller will not return to the spot where its migration began, but for over several generations. Its descendants will make it all the way from back to Canada, and then back, to, and then back to south, and then and then back south to Mexico. If you ever see them, if you ever see a monarch flying in the skies, wish it well for the amazing adventure that lies ahead. Finding the way. Let's learn about all these fun facts. Finding the way. Scientists continue to study how a monarch butterfly navigates its wintering spot. It appears that the butterfly has built a has a built-in compass. The compass allows it to figure out both the sun's position and what time of day it is. These pieces of information make it possible for the butterfly to head in the correct direction. Super generation. Not all monarchs live for the same amount of time. Most of them live for only two to six weeks. But late summer, the super generation of monarchs butterf of, of monarch butterflies is born these are the butterflies that make the migration from as far north as canada down to mexico they can live for as long as nine months they make a reproduce in mexico it's the it is the super generation's children and re <laughs> it is the super generation's children, grandchildren and so on that makes the journey north. It takes three to five generations to reach the place the butterflies will spend the summer. Monarchs on the move as well as North America Monarch butterflies can be found in parts of South America, Europe, Australia, and Oceania. The one in this story lives in eastern North America. All in a day's work. When migrating, monarchs typically fly for about four to six hours per day. They take a 
they'll take a break in the afternoon to feed. But if the weather is too windy or rainy, they will not fly. Temperature also affects their ability to fly. Their flight muscles must be at least 13 degrees cent 30 degrees Celsius or 55 degrees Fahrenheit to fly. That's why monarchs are often seen basking with their wings open and tilted towards the sun. This helps them warm up so that they can fly. Record breakers. Despite their small size, monarchs migrate further than almost any other insect. Some travel as far as 3,000 miles, 4,800 kilometers to their wintering spot. But monarch butterflies aren't the only ones that undergo long journeys. The trophy for the longest migration out of all the animals on Earth goes to the Arctic Tern, flying from the Arctic to the Antarctic. These birds migrate about around twenty-five thousand miles, that four thousand kilometers every year. The end. Thanks for listening. Bye. Mm -hmm.